Welcome to part two of a three-part series on the annual Armenian Food Festival and Bazaar in San Francisco. In this episode, it's all about the food, food, and more food. So much to sample, so little time, but when it comes to this once-in-a-lifetime experience, I don't mess around. You're gonna see me eat more than I ever have before, right here on Feast in the Middle East. kitchen this is where all the magic happens apparently these women are working how long months months okay. they are working in here we don't dare to come in here unless you are ready to work okay are they gonna make me work everything is made by hand this is the mother of all food festivals because everything is made by that's hand. unbelievable and there are thousands From of people that come the yeah. savory sarma which you've got to have today I can't wait. to the sweets the apple turnovers good egg Mm -hmm. These look like canapé. We have like it's canapé. like canapé. Is it cheese? It is cheese. We and have nut and sugar? cheese. Yes. Oh wow! And over here we've got the kufta, which is an art because it's basically a stuffed meatball. It's a meatball oh. stuffed with meat. Oh! And they're very delicate. And what these ladies do? They make thousands of, of them. These. Absolutely. Where do they get their energy? They're they they are in here all the time. Um, amazing. Over women. here, you know, you just see the magic happen and it's done yeah. with love. This Absolutely. is the beauty of this festival. Well, this is why I love festivals more than, you know, your ad, your average, like, I don't like to buy stuff that's made in a factory. This is the antithesis of factory food. How do you say God bless your hands in Armenian? Serkerit talat. Serkerit talat. Serkerit talat. All right, so I feel like I gotta get out of their way. The women were so sweet and hospitable, I felt like I was visiting family. In my culture, they say the eyes are more hungry than the stomach. Well, let's just say my eyes were starving because I wanted to try it all. The smells were incredible, and how can anyone resist handmade food made with love like this? We are going to just dive in to a foodie heaven. Hi, this is total foodie heaven. And I've always been about surprises, and because this meatball is staring at me, that, and I'm dying to know what's my, in there. So this is kufta. Now this I want you kufta. to cut it open. Let's I want you to slice open. that open. Okay, this is Armenian see kufta. How... It looks like a Scottish egg or something, right? Oh, it looks like it looks like something we eat in the Arab world called kippa. It's like like it's got here. Look at that. It's got like minced meat in the middle and, or something? Yes, and the art to this. Now, I want you to imagine these ladies make thousands of these. And that the art to this so is the thin crust. Yes. If I make this at home, it's got like this, you know, half thick inch crust. thick crust. The, the way they make these paper thin is beyond my understanding. It's and I want you to take a bite of this because I'm going to go ahead and do that too. Unbelievable. The spices just meld perfectly. Uh, you've got onions. You've got aleppo pepper, you've got beef, you've got lamb. And the meat is so like perfectly perfect. seasoned. There's that aleppo parsley. pepper, I taste that with the parsley. I taste uh, onions in there. Onion. When you come here during the preparation of this food, the, the, the natural products that are going into this food just yeah. come out in not only the scent, but the spirit of kind of the feel of this food festival. Well, that, see, this is why I love food, ethnic food so much. It's not just about what you're eating. It's about the memories that they evoke as you eat them. So you can think of your childhood. You can think of an aunt, a particular uncle, yeah. a grandmother that you're fond of that maybe passed away. Absolutely. I mean, it's like it's a way to keep their legacy alive on a plate. It makes me want to be an Armenian. Yeah. Like I, but, but see, you're building this memory with me now. Yes. So every so time pretty. I eat this, I'll always think of my, so my first time here at the festival with you. So talking about surprises, yeah, so we've got our kufta. Now, got the kufta. my personal favorite here is the sarma. The sarma. So and they've got shirts that say, I love sarma for a reason. I'll right? get one. So we call it wada dawali wada anib, which means grape leaves, but stuffed grape leaves. But for you guys, you guys have a different filling, it looks like. Than well, we, we have do. different fillings for Look different dolma. The word dolma means stuffed, and right. this is sarma, which means uh, dolma with grape leaves that has, it's not, it's meatless. Oh, so it's meat. This, this is, is meatless. Or vegan, this, is, this is so this vegan, is vegan. Absolutely rice. vegan. It's like a vegan mm. bomb of goodness. It's like lemony. It has mint in there. Some essence of tomato. It has essence of tomato, mint, lots of lemon. Um, when these are baked, there's olive oil. 
lemon slices on the outside and also sometimes those grapes, the dried grapes, placed on top to give it this kind of say, uh, like a sweetness. sweetness. So this is just like all inspired from the garden or from what Absolutely. Armenians grow and they throw Absolutely. it in a pot and in comes Absolutely. this magic what is right here. This is quintessentially Armenian. This this is what is I this? would never dare to make this. It's called suboreg. Suboreg. It's filo dough, similar to filo dough, but the dough is handmade here at Check the church. This, out, guys. this is handmade in the church. So each paper, if you look at each paper thin uh, dough layer, each one has been hand rolled and wow. boiled before being placed in layer after layer after layer with butter and then the Which cheese butter? is similar to a Monterey Jack cheese with parsley mm. and, and uh, with egg mm. and just a ton of butter. Um, we're not going to talk about calories. No, I don't care. Because Suboneg is my absolute is favorite. This is the most worthy Bored. block of butter I'll ever eat in my life. Yes, it is. Indeed. This must take 5,000 hours to make. I it mean, does. It's enough that filo dough alone, you have to make it, stretch it really thin. I mean, I don't There's even... The kitchen, the sheets of filo, the dough that they're making, nobody dares to come in during that process. Oh, no. I could imagine I'm, they're like, I off. am not going to touch I this one. I could imagine an auntie that's going to get really no. cross with me. Yes. yes. Now, over here, this is called Iman Bayaldi. And, and it has, uh, or uh, some poop, and it's got onions, bell peppers, tomatoes, uh, garlic, lots of garlic, um, olive oil, sauteed, and then the eggplants are fried or baked with olive oil, depending, and then stuffed. This and is so rich. I mean, the eggplant hot just or cold. melts. Yeah. I mean, the eggplant melts on my fork. I, know. I, I know. can't wait to, I mean, you've got sweet, you've got eggplant. Uh, it is pretty incredible, actually, and and they're all handmade. That's what's kind of overwhelming about this. Place. Just melt in your mouth, girl. I would be so fat if I were Armenian. I'm just, I'm just telling you. I've given up every diet. It's just not happening. It's just not within my this culture. This is insane. Well, food is also a part of showing love in our culture, similar to your culture. Totally. I mean, yeah. you know, these kids. You should see the hot lunch menu at the Armenian school. Oh, I would love to. <laughs> So the hot lunch menu the, the Armenian lunch, school has this? They have they stuff like this. They eat boreg. They eat lamajun, which I'll show you. They have the pilaf. They have the baked chicken with the Armenian spices. My daughter's here. She's assisting. Uh, maybe I'll send my daughter to an Armenian school. <laughs> Natalia, you want to go to an Armenian school? Can you Just for the menu alone. It's really it's pretty overwhelming, the amount of love that's put into all of this food. Now, I, uh, you know, we, we often talk about the Armenian genocide, and the, I think one of the weirdest things that happened with that was the amount of hunger that took place. Right. And for Armenians, food is associated with so much about our culture. You also have used bulgur wheat, so we use it in tabula and we make pilafs with yeah. it. But I like the tomato. It looks like tomato is a this pepper. This is tomato and um, uh, look at that how fluffy that uh, is. Pepper paste. Oh, nice. So it's cooked. The onions are sautéed, mm -hmm. um, and then you add tomato paste, um, um, pepper paste, and lemon, and then scallions are chopped on top for color and flavor. I know that's my. I love this. This is my favorite. I know. I, I mean, love. Each. I know it's so simple. It's but comfort I like food. This is comfort food. I see some more crossover in my culture. We have uh, lubia. So yes. Palestinians, Lebanese, Syrians, they make lubia, which are basically green beans. And these are, are the flat, broad tomato. beans. Yeah, these are the so. broad beans. So these aren't the skinny beans that we use. These are the broad these beans. These are broad, and they're brought from Fresno, actually. Oh, so these yes. are the real deal, like from the, the Armenian from farmers the Armenian to farmers the table. Yes, absolutely. This is awesome. It would be very easy to be a vegetarian mm. with the Armenian um, cuisine. So, so delicate, it's so soft, melts in your mouth. It's really amazing. It's not stringy. You know, some people are afraid to eat green beans because they think it's going to be stringy. There's no string here. You know, for me, eating sarma or kifta just reminds me of my grandmother. Yeah. And I'm comfort sure, right? food. And she probably spent hours cooking for you guys. And she, she would do it blindfolded. I mean, she would just like, when they roll these sarmas, when I'm doing it, it's a production. Yeah. I have to actually. <laughs> intellectualize in the process. Me too, actually. These guys, life. when you go there, they're just like, hi, how's life? <laughs> yeah, we're doing this. And like all of a sudden, five sarmas are rolled. We need to talk about the borgs because this okay. is what, like total Armenian food is, right here, right? This is Armenian. This is like now, complete Armenian. This, so, there's, um, look at this. this two is, kinds. That's so this the is, cheese. This is the cheese. Look at the flaky. And it's the, like 
flaky a dough. Puff pastry, right? Handmade puff pastry. They do not buy the this puff pastry. This, is, this is not the kind you buy in the no. freezer section. But you could actually make a pretty good bodeg with that, but yeah. this is the real deal. And you've got butter, um, cheeses. Uh, usually it's a mix of Monterey Jack, feta, mm. um, and egg as a, as a binder. Parsley, sometimes some onion. Depends on the region again. This and is so good. It I should know. be illegal. With an <laughs> egg wash. It's, I know. If you could go to an Armenian festival in your town, this is the first thing you should buy, honestly. And, and every town has them. Um, this is the 60th anniversary of St. Gregory's Armenian Food Festival. So I will say, not because this is my parish, but this is the mother of all food festivals. It is. Look, oh! This oh, is spinach. Oh, I know. I know. Hello. I know. Spinach is calling my name. We make something like this called um, sabanach, and which means spinach. Like it's sabanach spinach. Spanach. How do you say guys, spanach. Do you say spanach? Spanach is, yes. But we don't use puff pastry. We just use bread dough. But this is decadent, girl. It's delicious. With a lot of butter. Onions, um, spinach, cheese. Oh, it's great. I know. I like how I want to cry. It's like this is an emotional experience right now. I know. I know. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I feel very proud when I see so many different people from San Francisco coming to this festival and enjoying our food mm -hmm. um, and learning about our culture and learning about kind of the melding and the overlap of the foods of what we like to call the Fertile Crescent. I mean, this is the cradle of civilization. They knew how to do it 4,000 years yes, ago. absolutely. And they're still keeping these traditions alive today. Absolutely. Now, what is this? This is Whoa. called Shabayat. And Shabayat? Shabayat, and it is phyllo dough with a sweet custard cream oh. inside. We it's got a little bit of semolina sometimes okay. as a binder. Yes. Uh, and then it's got a rose water syrup. I've got to show you on it, it and like. pistachios, of course, because that's at, just here. I'll show you this. There. This is my. Semolina. That is my daughter's favorite food. Like they can. Should live I on just that. be mean and bite it right in the middle? Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Just eat. It's incredible. Oh. I know. You don't want to know rose, how much butter rose there water. is. Oh, oh no. There's like rose flower water in there. You yes. taste the rose. And orange blossom water. We have something called warbat, mm -hmm. similar, but this is much lighter in the inside. It's so light, yeah. the semolina. And this looks this like is kanafe. Khadaif. We call it khadaif, which is like kanafe. Khadaif, there. the dough is, um, again, handmade. Yeah, um, look at that. And there's layers of a cheese, there's similar a cheese. to what's Ooh. in shabayat, cream. See that? Cream. Cream, semolina. It's incredible. These farmer cheese? Um, I think they use actually farmer's cheese and they also use um, cream. Lots of it. I'm oh not going to tell you much. It's incredible. It's like a cheesecake. It is delicious. It's like cheesecake and with it also filo. has And it has the, water, it has the rose, rose water, water in it. But it's not overpowered. I know. I know. I know. Like, I, I need to give you a hug. Like oh. a over, an over the table oh. hug. I'm, I'm in, in heaven. I can't even, I can't even, I'm speechless, girl. This, and you know, I, I, we don't want to ever show off about things, but you guys don't. just the you fact should. that <laughs> it's handmade yes. with love mm -hmm. and is part of an ancient, ancient culture. Yes. We're just really proud of what we present here at this festival. You know, you should be, and it's just extraordinary that this population of people has contributed so much to our country and to the culinary world, and not too many people know about this. You know, and they should because this is this is mind-blowing good stuff, guys. Like I can't even begin to describe the amazing food that I'm eating right and, now. You know, the beauty of America is that that you can, especially in a town San Francisco, totally, you can go anywhere and find beautiful ethnic food from a diverse amount of cultures, and uh, and embrace that culture through what it loves which is their food. And you know what's so cool is that uh, being an Arab American, there's so much crossover. I feel at home. Absolutely. And well, the welcome. people are so friendly that I feel like they're my aunts and uncles. Oh yeah. It just, I mean, this is beautiful. It's they're, a beautiful They're probably thing. looking at you saying, which one of our nieces or nephews I is this? We're so Can busy, we haven't it? seen them. <laughs> and in Armenian yeah. we say, Anush Allah, may it be sweet. Anush Allah? Anush Allah. Anush Allah, may it be sweet. May it be sweet. Beautiful. Thank you. Oh bon my gosh, thank you. Okay, now we'll take one, two, three people. You gotta eat something. Oh my god. Okay. And you know, we 
I'm not a professional. We are. You look pretty professional. No, me. amateurs. Amateurs. These guys are we, we just do part time. You guys know your stuff. We just do a part time. You know, it's wow. it's, it's Bandura. Bandura. We say. Yes, Bandura. You say Bandura too? Yeah, I'm going to be Yeah. 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 Bandura, Zaytun. Bandura, Zaytun. Zaytun, yeah. Olives. And it's, 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 oh, on top, Nana. Oh, Because wow. back home, we used to eat all this, the hot days, you know. Yeah, it's, it's you so this. refreshing. Khiar. Oh, yeah. What do you think? No, Khiar is, uh, it's, 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 it's Turkish, but. Uh, no, I don't think it's Khiar. Khiar. Oh, Khiar, Khiar. 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 yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Oh, and then. It's pepper. Oh, it's pepper. It's like Aleppo pepper? Aleppo pepper. Yeah. Uh, and then and, summa? And then summa. Oh. And on top of it. Okay. Zayt Zayt. Woo wee! That's Zayt Zayt. Yeah, wow. It, That's like it, a salad and a, and a sandwich, really. Oh, yes. It's. Mahla, it's beautiful. Okay. I think you guys ready to eat something. Yes. Yeah. This is enough for all of us, honestly. No, are you kidding? That's too much. You know, my grandmother used to say when you see skinny people, is to feed them more. So, <laughs> so. You have to understand also. Yeah. Look at uh, that. Dinner is called huts in Armenian. Okay. Bread is the staple of our culture. And okay. every and meal, it's no low carb, nothing low carb. No, no. Look at yeah. this work of art. Yes. Look at that. Oh, yes. That's gorgeous. How are we supposed to eat all this? Oh, when you sit down and you relax, you eat all oh, this so light. It's <laughs> oh my god. Okay, you have to light. take a bite with me, you probably. Oh my it's gosh. All right. I'm going to go walking with you this week. Wait, wait. I'm stuffed, but this looks so good. I can't say no, and he's so friendly. You have to eat one too. Come on. Let me go, so I'm going to get a bite oh, of this. Yes, this is feta? Feta cheese? Feta no. with lemonade. Yes. Oh. Oh. Feta and sumac, oil pepper. Bandura tomato. Are you ready? Yes. All right, One, I'm two, ready. Three. Yes, yes, that's how you eat it. <laughs> In part three, we're going to explore as many flaky phyllo and Armenian butter bombs as we can and finish it off with some coffee fortune telling. Make sure to hit that subscribe button to get it all right here on Feast in the Middle East. <laughs>